good smokiness. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today I have an extraordinary good bottle here in my cask. It's a Talisker, 25 years old, in cask strength. And this is the exception. Today the Talisker 25 years has the, the typical strength of Talisker, which is 45.8. Nearly all bottles have those. This uh, ABV, uh, except I think the 35, uh, 30 years old is still in cast strength. And in former times, up to the year 2010, probably 2011, 2012, I have no idea, uh, the 25 years old uh, was in cast strength also. Um, so today those bottles look differently and uh, here we have uh, mm, bottled in 2009 from refill casks and those refill casks should be hogsheads. Refill casks would be most of the time hogsheads. Uh, one of only 5,862 limited edition, that's true. 54.8 ABV, numbered bottle. And inside there's something written, I will uh, look at that real soon now. And here we have some, uh, well, some coverage so that the uh, label isn't worn off uh, when the bottle is shaking in the box. And, uh, well, if you look carefully at the box, the bottle was leaking. And uh, because the bottle was leaking, it is today mine. It wasn't sellable. Um, I looked through all those old bottles. You, you might have noticed in the past uh, days uh, that there are some <laughs> quite weird bottles here on my cask. So I looked everything up and tried to clean up. Uh, I'm going on vacation uh, and uh, I want to, to have a lot of videos present for you so that you can uh, uh, see my videos even if I'm not in my office or here at my cask. Um, I looked at the cork and here I saw a crack. And this crack was responsible for the leakage. Yeah, I have a look here, the same as outside, the identical label. And now we have a look, ah, I forgot. <coughs> we have the inside of this box. Let's see what's written here. Bottle in 2009, long maturation has borne a rich fruit in this 25-year-old natural cast strength Talisker, the latest in an award-winning series. Uh, natural cast strength means that this whiskey is not from a single cask because there have been 5,862 bottles um, and that means that there are dozens of casks used but uh, they were mixed together but not added water later for adjusting the ABV. So it's just what the mixture brought, that's it. Uh, here's all the power and depth of flavor that enthusiasts love, more round yet still vigorous, mellow, juicy and ever-changing. The nose shows sweetness with a trace of smoke. Talisker has a little smokiness. The older the whiskey is, the less smokiness you will notice. Oh. Mm -hmm. Notes of smoke then opens out to heathery peat. Uh, well, most of the peat mosses in Scotland are produced by heather. So heathery peat is just normal. With waves of fresh baked apple cake, I like that, and finally 
of the ocean itself rolling in behind. Well, if you can hear the ocean rolling, you probably might have had enough of this one. Yeah. Um, with water, orange peel notes emerge, followed appropriately by more maritime characteristics. Medium bodied, rich and silky smooth, this sweet starting malt drinks well at natural strength, whilst a little water softens the texture. The overall effect, like the long peppery finish, is reassuringly warming. Yeah. <coughs> below that an unreadable signature of the distillery manager. I visited Talasker in 2004. Yes, this is bottle 3582. A wonderful smoke on the, on the cork. There's more behind. Just take a minute to smell at the cork. No. Uh, here we go. Not too much. I still have a whiskey to go today. And I have to dilute the whiskey a little bit. <clears throat> Otherwise my taste buds on my tongue would, well, would be a little bit paralyzed. And the next one would have difficulties uh, going above this one. Good smokiness. It's more bonfire than than phenols. Not not that medicinal. No. Little fruitiness. Vanilla. Lots of vanilla. But fruitiness catching up. And the alcohol just not tasteable or smellable. No, the alcohol is very well bound in. Pa! The sea. It, it smelled a little bit like, like herring. It's the, the smoky, the smoky fish. But it's gone, no. This was just a, a kick in my head and you know the tale about the, the whiskies finished in herrings casks. In former times herrings were salted and put into casks for transportation and well keeping them unrotten. Fresh. No, not fresh. Salty. So there's the, the ocean in behind. Yes, there's some remembrance of salt. Some saltiness. And now there's a little bit of alcohol. Yes, it's, it's there. Yeah, it's very complex and the, the light smoke, the, the typical 10 years old Talisker shows a lot of more smoke than this one. Over the years, uh, oxidization reduces the peatiness, but brings uh, complexity during the oxidization. Oh, it takes quite a second. Lighter. More fruit. Yes. And this light apple. It's not apple cake. It's apple juice. A wonderful aromatic apple. Not these very modern green ones, no, the old ones, the smaller ones. Juicy. Yeah. Bam! Kicks in and a little bit of Yes, of spiciness of pepper, not this extreme chili catch you sometimes have in these younger taliskers, but uh, the sharpness already gone. It was a peppery, 
spiciness. Wonderfully smooth. And now it's it's more a warming, uh, welcoming, you no know, saying goodbye aftertaste. Yeah. With that m amount of water, the the smoke is nearly gone, and the fruitiness is is dominant. So for a twenty five years old whiskey, the fruitiness is quite fresh so there might not have been a sherry cask in the mixture no the refill should have been hogsheads or expert casks or hogsheads out of expert casks Typically, oh, yeah, the pepper spiciness, yeah. Typically, um, the forty-five point eight percentage absolute by volume is enough for a Talisca, from my personal point of view. Um, the fifty-four point eight in this case is, yeah. A little bit to to play with, and add water a little more, a little less. Um, and I think if you do not add too much of water, uh, this whiskey stays on top of its expression. Adding a little bit too much of water uh, reduces the impact of the whiskey. So there was no, the people were right to to bottle it at a higher strength. Otherwise, at 45.8, it might have been a little bit too smooth for a Talisca. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come. There had been a lot of 25 years old in cast strength on the market. And have a look at our whiskey database on whiskey.com. You might find other bottles out of this series. And if you're a collector, now you know how this whiskey tastes. And you do not have to open your bottle and uh, well spoil your collection.